Now, as you can see, everybody, do you agree that this is a question of that same nature of a linear equation of y equals mx plus b? Do we agree that this is of the same nature? Cool. Now, here's what I want to point out here. I want to point out that we must understand how these pieces work. Now, I saw someone mention in the chat box that they didn't know that the rate could be negative. And yeah, the rate can be negative because really what the rate describes is what is happening to your beginning amount. So let me explain. Let's say we have our beginning amount. Let's take a look at the previous question. If we say that we had $463 at the beginning and we're saving $45 a week, everybody, as we save, what happens to our money? As we save, our money goes what? Up. Great. Sounds good. So in that case, in this case here that we see, yeah, our rate is positive because we're talking about here's our current money and we are saving. However, if we talk about this question here, we are talking about, hey, this is how many pages we have left to read at the beginning. Everyone, what's going to happen to the number of pages we have left as we read? Let's pause really quick because my question is, regardless of whether you think this question is easy or hard, are you prepared to answer more like this? Do you understand everything that you need to know leading up to this, like fractions, decimals? All of these questions that I'm asking you are legitimate questions that every successful ASVAB test taker needs to ask themselves. And so tracking your progress, guaranteeing that you know you're ready, that's the number one way to prepare. And that's why we designed our progress dashboards for the math basics, arithmetic reasoning, and math knowledge. No more do you have to guess and hope for the best in terms of, hey, I practiced for two days straight, I hope I'm ready. You know, that happens way too often and then people move on only to find out that they weren't ready and then time was wasted. So don't waste time. When you have a plan and a progress book like this that's lined up for you from beginning to end, you are absolutely 100% guaranteed to grow. So if you're happy about that or excited, go ahead, click the link in the description of this video or text me at 567-698-8867. Text me asking me about how the program works. I'm more than happy to take time out of my day to make sure that you're successful. So don't waste time. Let's make sure you get the score you want and that job you deserve. Hit me up, click the link in the description, and let's get you in there. What's going to happen to the pages we have left? Yes, the number of pages that we have left goes down. As we read more and more, we have less pages. So what does that tell you about what's happening to the beginning amount? Is your beginning amount going to be going up or going down? One more time. Is your beginning amount going up or going down? It's going down. If your beginning amount is going down, that means your rate is negative. Yes or no, does that make sense? If there is a negative impact on the beginning amount, then your rate is negative. So you see the relationship there? Again, what you notice in the words and what you can write down, very important to establish that connection because without the connection, we're all sad, lost puppies, and we don't really wanna be there. So here we go. We have y equals mx plus b. Let's understand the point of the question. The question is, hey, which of the following equations correctly relates the number of pages William has left to read Y and the number of hours X he has read for? So they're basically telling you, hey, X means how long William was reading. Y is the result, how many pages he has left after all has been said and done. So what we need to focus on then is finding out what our M and what our B are. If you notice, M and B, M and B, M and B, M and B. That's all we care about. That's all we care about. So with that said, here we go. What does it say first? It says first, William has 1,254 pages left to read in his book. Everybody, what would we consider that? Is that the beginning amount or is that the rate? Is that the beginning amount or is that the rate? That's your beginning amount. That's how many pages you have left. That is what is there from the start. So with that, let's make sure we write that down. So everybody, is that gonna be a positive amount or a negative amount? Is that a positive amount or a negative amount? 
Yeah, no, that's a positive. That's a positive amount because you have an actual number of pages left to read. You don't. You can't have a negative number of pages left to read. That's not possible. You have a number of pages, a certain number, a positive number from the beginning. So you have 1,254 from the beginning. That's positive. Now M, let's see what that's going to be. We see that it says reads at an average pace or rate of 57 pages per hour. But we had to ask ourselves, everybody, if we have this many pages left to read and we are reading 57 pages every hour, is that a positive 57 because we're going up or a negative 57 because we're going down? Which one is it? Yeah. It's negative because the number of pages we're going to have left as we continue reading, it's going to go down. So that's going to be a negative 57x. And my last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. And there's your equation right there. There's your equation. Negative 57x because you are going down 57 pages every hour and you start with 1,254 pages left to read. And there it is. And the only trick here is that, remember everybody, remember this, one plus two is the same as two plus one. So if I have negative 57x plus 1,254, that's the same thing as saying y equals 1,254 minus 57x. Those two are the same thing. And so because of that, our answer, our correct answer is C. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.